Hey everybody, this is Chris from Primed Palette here today showing you a demonstration of improving with reference. The focus on today's video is clean lines, no blend coloring, and to focus on savoring improvement. As we grow as artists, the more studies we do, and especially those guided by mentors, mean we need to take time to think about how we've improved. So here on this piece, I'm actually focused entirely on emulating another artist, another YouTuber, as a matter of fact, Mark Burnett, and looking at specifically right now the height versus the width of my copy versus Mark's. So I'm noticing that my width is much, much larger than Mark's and my height needs to be improved. So on this next sketch, I'm gonna jump in and focus entirely on the face to begin with. How are you gonna do the face? It looks like, again, I'm favoring width. Many artists actually consider a effect of our own bodies playing into how we draw and paint. Um, those that tend to be shorter and stouter usually draw with more width in their paintings. And this is not just about individual faces. This is also about anything else that you might be doing. So I'm also noting that anytime I notice a mistake, I'm using Control Z. We're speeding up the paint back period pretty fast here. This is something like 72,000% faster. This is originally a video of six hours of content. We've managed to get it down to about eight or nine minutes. So with that, I'm gonna to continue to build out another copy. I'm noticing uh, if I increase my height and decrease my width, I'm getting much closer to marks. Excellent, there is improvement, yes. Um, this is very important for you. Take some moments to think about how you've been able to improve because these moments will provide you a path forward in future challenges where you feel that you aren't able to do something because you are. You put enough time, enough effort, and especially if you have a good teacher to guide you along the way, you will get better. So now I'm moving on to a piece of reference art from Hendo Art, uh, is the Instagram handle for this individual Instagrammer and Instagram photographer. And I'm building out the basic sketch here and now I'm reducing opacity, creating a new layer to draw over the top of. Excellent technique to improve on an existing sketch is to simply just draw over the top after you move your other layer to a less opaque version of it below. As we develop the lines here, notice that I am going for gestural strokes, meaning I'm trying to get in one line an expression of that form. And I'll use Control Z and I'll go back if I don't get it. Important to note as you go through this, that this process includes a base color as your method of establishing values. So I've got base colors for each of the individual components of this. And now I'm going to focus on painting in shapes. I'm not going to blend until I've got the majority of the shapes placed for individual components in this art. Focusing on the skin, the face, the eyes, doing main shapes first will help immensely with establishing the correct values that your reference material demands. Once we have those established, I'm going through and blending individual components of the illustration itself, starting to work on the other parts of the illustration. Also, take note, I started with the skin first because generally the skin is the backdrop for a lot of this. And now I'm working a little bit more on the flasks, which are more in the foreground. They are the closer part of the illustration that we see as we look at this illustration more shapes and color focus on the shapes take a moment to pause so you can focus on this process because it takes a little bit longer blending can come later get those shapes in first get the values established Excellent. It's 
wonderful to record yourself too. If you don't have a YouTube channel or if you're not recording your own artwork on the computer especially, I highly recommend it. It's good for you as an artist to look back and see how you've improved. See what sort of mistakes you might be making through your process or what sort of things you want to do more of. Notice I was happy to go back and look again at the actual illustration. Go back and erase some of the hair and, and redo it. Thinking about those shapes again. Now we're moving on to the shapes of the shirt. Remember, the color shapes come first. If you can get these established, the blending is so much easier than trying to establish color and blend at the same time. Interesting to note, when you're looking at adding blend to your colors, you're actually expressing form, the shape of that object that you're looking to illustrate. The form, if the blend goes from a very slow point to another, it doesn't change very fast, usually that indicates a very round shape. But if it changes quickly, you're indicating an edge. This is how very basic principle of, of shape and form plays out in real illustration terms. using some Photoshop magic here to mix up and change the overall values of a form that I've already established. A little bit more. All right, one of the final points I'd like to point out here, again, because I can't emphasize it enough, remember to look at your piece and look back on the pieces you've done recently and see how you've improved. Look at this compared to this, right? Huge improvements over the course of a six hour study. Doesn't matter necessarily how long you study, much, much more influence and much more advancement comes from what you study and how you study. Looking forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care.